Hi guys, and welcome to another video with me, Shira Star Hobby. I have a dress up video for you, and it's very exciting. This is another Wimukt outfit. Um, if you've seen my channel, you know that I have done several unboxings or dress up videos, I should say, with um, Wimukt outfits, specifically for my Oscar boys, but this is um, an MSD Unoa outfit, and I bought it. <laughs> I bought it with Kiwi in mind, um, but then I was like, well, maybe Altine can wear it. But now I don't think either of them can because the Unoas I thought were small MSDs. Um, but they're not they're like in the 40 42 centimeter range and both kiwi and altine are 35 and 36 centimeters so if anything <laughs> everything will be quite large on them um, i do have some larger msd dolls incoming um I don't think this will be their style, but I will have the clothes regardless and maybe I can do some altering to make it fit or I don't know, but we will see. Anyway, I just kind of want to see what the clothes looks like on Altine and I kind of wanted to show you her body and, um, you know, the different things that she can do because I haven't really done any kind of video with her um, except for her welcome video so um, I did change her eyes she is wearing um, a pair of Atelier Mamoni six millimeter Patusa eyes in purple in the sparkly purple um, because the green eyes that she had in I put back in Trafari um, and so the eyes that she came with I didn't love because the iris is too big and even these irises are a bit big I prefer her because her eye opening is so small um, the size like the diameter of the iris in the eyes that Marina makes are a lot smaller and you can see more whites of the eye um, and that's why those green eyes looked so good in her but um, you know I wanted Trafari to have Marina eyes and so I put those green eyes back in him and these eyes are pretty good for right now um, I do need to do some serious eye shopping um, especially since it seems like um, the majority of the eyes that I need are these really small sizes and um, it's kind of difficult for me to find those eyes that don't cost an arm and a leg um, I'm not one to pay um, buku bucks for a pair of eyes like I don't mind between like 25 and 30 dollar range but if you're looking at upwards of 45 to 55 dollars for a pair of eyes I just can't bring myself to to do it it's just too much for me so um but she looks really good with the purple sparkly eyes um and she's gorgeous regardless of what color eye she's got in so um i just wanted to you know show you guys that i just played around with her hair a little bit um, i love being able to style this wig and then i can just take it out and it just falls right back out and it hangs really nicely um, I wanted to show you her this is her little um, this is where I keep her sleeping face and her flat feet and her stand um, and I love this thing um, Allison gave this to me and it's just like a little magnetic wooden box but it's just so nice and I can use it as a prop in the background of pictures and it uh, and I can always carry around her extra parts in there um, so let's um, get her undressed well first let's take a look at the outfit how about that that way I can get rid of all this noisiness part here so um, her packaging is always so lovely I like um, the paper that she puts in each thing um, I think at one point in time sh when she used to only sell on eBay, I'm pretty sure her, 
Her eBay handle was Foxy Brownie. Um, because if you search Foxy Brownie on eBay, you can still find some of her clothing. Um, it's older. I think it's, it's like a lot of her older pieces, which is cool too. Um, but she's been around for a long time and I've always been really pleased with my purchases from her. So yeah, I don't think this is going to fit Altine at all. And that's another reason why I originally had Kiwi in mind because Kiwi's got the wider hips compared to Altine and she's just thicker all over. Um, so, you know, even if this outfit doesn't fit either Kiwi or Altine, I will at least have it for other dolls. Like this can be used just as a dress by itself. And look at how pretty and simple that is. I do have an incoming doll who is a character in Trafari's story, and she is very simple. Like, she doesn't need a whole lot. The doll itself, she's absolutely stunning. And, um, I mean, she'll probably be, like, you know, half nude <laughs> for the majority of her pictures because the character that she that she will be portraying um is is you know something of a different world so anyway i'm getting a little ahead of myself here so if you saw her other video where i introduced her um i said that she's got magnetic parts which is really nice for dressing and her feet they just Okay, I might need two hands for this. Her feet just, yeah, pop right off. And it's so, so nice for dressing. So she's got like this incredible dancer body. Like that's what she reminds me of as a, as a ballerina. Um, and believe it or not, this is Barbie Puma Fashion Packs. That fit her now she's 36 centimeters and she has got some serious thighs and a big old booty but if the clothes can stretch like these shorts then it's not a problem and her body is beautifully sculpted I absolutely love her like I really love her and I can't wait for her sister um, who is, she hasn't been cast yet because the, the, the way it works is, um, you know, they, they, they will do a layaway with you, um, if you need it, but they won't cast your doll until, until she's paid for. So, um, and that's understandable, you know, because they're, they're artists and, you know, they, they need to make sure that, that they're not going to waste their time, you know, doing all this. So, Let's get the dress on her first. Um, let me see. Is there a... I don't want to show too much here. But she is a beautiful, beautiful, beautifully sculpted body. So, yeah. See, like, this could definitely be just a dress on her. Um, because, like, in the picture, um, the Unoa doll was you know was wearing all three pieces at the same time which is really which looks really good together um but because she's just so slim compared to a unoa body um i mean even the dress is just swimming on her i mean look at it's just <laughs> i'd have to do some serious altering for that to work but look at how cute that looks I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually cut anything. I would just um, put in like a temporary stitch to hold it for photos, and then I would just use a seam ripper and just pull out the thread. Like I, I like I, I wouldn't even do like a really tight stitch. It would just be like a hand sewn, a few, two or three stitches just to hold it there. And then I do like that by itself as a dress. I am curious about the jeans fitting. They'd obviously be way too long. Uh, they might, could work. Uh, <laughs> um, maybe not. 
and I could pinch it and then I could roll them up so that they would be like super baggy. <laughs> I still haven't gotten any shoes for her. Um, let's put on her feet just to see what it looks like with the feet on. Um, yeah, I still haven't ordered her any specific shoes because the shoes that I ordered for Kiwi that I'm still waiting on, which they've been shipped and everything, but they're coming from, I think, Hong Kong, so they're not here yet. But those shoes, I feel like they might fit Kiwi or they might fit Altine as well. So I'm waiting to see those before I go ahead and order her anything meant for her, but I definitely want her to have a pair of sneakers, like a pair of like high top sneakers. Um, but to be honest, I love her ballet feet so much that um, I don't mind her being barefoot at all. <laughs> so there's the jeans with the dress. See how cute that looks together? And then, of course, the little jacket thing. Um, let's get this on. And I love the fabrics that she uses. She uses really nice prints and linens and cottons and jerseys and all kinds of really, really nice, um, what I, th what I would consider, you know, decently quality decent quality fabrics I mean I'm not a huge fabric expert um, I just I like what I like and I like how things feel so yeah you can see her swimming in this um, but I would probably just photograph her in the dress alone because her body is too beautiful to keep covered up with all this stuff <laughs> um, I will definitely try this outfit on Kiwi as well. Um, it might fit her slightly better because she's just a little bit thicker all over. But um, I am so excited to have this outfit. The time, the wait times seem to be getting longer and longer whenever I order from her shop. But I mean... It is what it is, right? I'm waiting on a bunch of things right now. Um, my Russian girl that I ordered um, back in, uh, well, she was shipped out in April anyway, April of this year. She is still not here, and I don't know where she's at. The, um, the seller... The artist behind her did um, contact the USPS and put out basically like a you know a search warrant <laughs> for her um, because she's here. You know, it's not. I don't blame the seller at all, the the artist, because you know she she shipped her and she's in the states. I just don't know why she hasn't moved from where it says she she last was. Um, so that's, I mean, that's on us, you know, that's, that's the USPS. That's not her fault at all. So in any way, shape or form, um, I hope that she'll arrive sometime, <laughs> sometime this year, um, because she has another doll that I am interested in who's bigger. She's like 32 centimeters and she's working on her. Her name is Miyoko and um, she's, she's beautiful too. She's a whole new body, a whole new face and everything. And I'm so excited for her. So I want Misha here first so that I can be like, oh, Misha, look, your sister's coming. So anyway, um, but I will take some pictures of her in the dress and I will post those at the end. And... Um, I guess that's all for today. I hope you guys are all doing well and we will see you in the next video. Bye.